All right, set number two in the watermelon workout. We already went through one set. We did 10 minutes of three exercises. We got really tired. Now we're gonna get rested for hopefully uh, you know, three minutes or so. And now we're gonna get after the next set here. So the next set, we have the shoulder press, squats, and top taps. So I'll show you those real quick. Again, remember, using a watermelon is much like using a medicine ball. So we can, we can use a lot of different exercises for these. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna recommend you go up against a wall when doing the shoulder press, because people tend to get all, all funky with the shoulder press and start arching their back. If we have to keep our butt on the wall, you will do a lot better on your shoulder press. So we're pressing right up here. You smell your watermelon, and then you push it back up overhead, okay? So I'll show you a freestanding one here. So locked in there, smell and press. Smell and press. Not that one, all right? Lock it in, okay? So there's shoulder press. Then we've got squats. You can keep the same grip if you want and get nice and low in the squats. Pushing the butt back. Make sure it doesn't become some kind of knee bend thing. Sometimes we get distracted when we're holding something and we start to do some pretty awful looking squats. Make sure the butt still goes back as you're doing the squat there. You could also go for, for the lower hold here as you're doing the squat. Make sure you keep that back really straight. Get as low as your hips will allow you to go. Okay, so nice good depth there. So you got those two. So good strength work there. And then we've got top taps. You can do this on a march. You just tap on the top of the watermelon or you can do it on the jog. So you get 40 taps and then you go back to shoulder press 10 times, squats 20 times, top taps 40 times. That is round two, that's the second set. You're gonna go 10 minutes at that one. So it's like a whole other workout happening right there. You rested, now it's time for 10 more minutes. Going through that as many times as possible. You can keep track and then you can test yourself later if you want. I'll be back with round three. 